Hey, I'm Matt with Doug Anderson Distributing. Today we're going to be talking about tire chaining, everybody's favorite thing to do in the winter. We're going to be going over the different kinds of chains, when to chain, when you are legally required to carry chains, all of those things we're going to go over today. So we'll get right into it showing you what you need to be able to chain. Okay, so we're over here on the passenger side of the truck. So on Doug Andrews trucks, just about every one of them has a chain hanger on the passenger side. This is where generally you'll put your chains, unless you have brand new ones in bags, then you put them generally under the bunk. This truck right now has chains on the chain hanger, and then I also did get a brand new bag of three railers. Three railers go over both tires on a tandem whereas singles just go over one tire. In front of us here, like I said, we've got our chains, and then I've also got just the tools that I recommend that you have. So the one that's the most critical is this cam lock key. That is what you'll need to tighten down the chains. You gotta have that. I recommend gloves, always. And then one thing that's really nice is getting your fifth wheel puller. Um, that helps you pull the chain through in between the two tires, so that's basically what you need to go ahead and get uh, started with chaining your drive tires. All right, so now we've laid out our chains. You'll notice I've got two different ones here. We've got a single and a three railer. So we're gonna be throwing both of them. Uh, I'll start with the single. Basically what we're looking for is overall condition of the chain. You're looking at your side chains, cam locks, making sure those aren't bent. Your cross links here, making sure everything looks good, nothing broken. Your hooks into your side chains all look good. Your hooks on the ends have Good. you know they're not uh, mashed this one looks to be in pretty good condition it's fairly new as we go back here to the three railer it's just a little different in that you have this center chain that you're also looking at to make sure that's in good condition so after this we're gonna go ahead and throw the chains put them on the tire okay so now we're gonna actually go ahead and put um, tire chains on the tires so I'm gonna start with this three railer you're gonna want to try and grab evenly in the middle here pick it up we're going to take it over here and you want to try and evenly place the chain and then you're going to take the second half and fold it over here. And then you're just going to go around and you make sure everything looks even. You're going to want to make sure again that your hooks, that the actual bent end portion are on the outside of the tire. You don't want those to be digging into the tire. Once everything looks fairly even, you want this middle chain to be nice and even right through your tires there. Then you're gonna wanna do your initial hookup. So we're gonna actually hook the ends of the chains. One of the things that you wanna double check uh, before you hook is to make sure all of your cam locks are loose. So this position right here is loose. And then if we turn it counterclockwise, that's tight. So when you're looking at the ends of the chains, you've got your hook end and you've got your chain end. So what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna actually put this on very tight. You see, I'm just gonna grab one or two links because you want some slack there because you're gonna have to go back around and hook up the other end as well. So we got that there. And again, we're not gonna go super tight, just two or three links in. And we're gonna call that hooked. And now we're going to do the middle. So now we've come to this point, we're going to hook the middle chain. This is where your fifth wheel puller will come in handy. We're going to go around back here and we're going to use that to hook the chain, pull it through and then hook it again, two or three links in and just get it, just get it hooked there. So you've got your hook here on this side. We'll just kind of keep that out of the way. Then I thread my fifth wheel puller through here and I'm going to Keep tension on that. I would say just hook it as best you can on whatever link you can grab. So we put on our three railer. I'm gonna go ahead and do the single as well now. I'm gonna grab this outside chain. I wanna make sure my cam locks are away from me because I'm gonna drape it over the tire. And I wanna make sure that these hooks, it's actually on the outside. Grab from the middle. We're gonna drape it. You'll notice I put this chain on the same axle. So anytime you chain, you want to do both sides of the same axle. If you just do one side, because of the way the, the truck's traction control works, it'll send slippage on the side that doesn't have chains, and it'll send power to that, 
and then you won't get any grip from just the one side that you're chaining. So now we're gonna go ahead and repeat what we did over there, then we'll roll forward. What we're gonna do now is roll forward about four feet so those hooks will come up to the top of the tire and then we can actually cinch everything down. So now we're gonna go ahead and tighten them all down. It uh, tightens fairly even. That one there, this one there. When all of these are tight, you want to not be able to put your finger in between it or have it be very difficult. Same thing on the inside. You want to make sure that that feels secure, nice and tight. This, I would say, is tight and ready to go. If you do these correctly, you won't need a ton of bungee cords to keep everything tight. Your chain will just be tight on its own. And that's what you really want. Now we're going to do a three railer. So if we say of a three railer, excuse me. We're going to be doing the same thing over there. Now that we've rotated the hooks up to this top position here, we're going to see if we can just hand tighten it by pulling on it and seeing if we can get an extra link. Oh, so close. I think I can. There we go. So I was able to get one more link right there. I don't worry too much about the inside because what's going to happen is I'm going to tighten the cam locks on the inside first. And then we'll grab bungee cord. And then just like that, you want to make sure that nothing's poking into the tire and you'll do the same thing. On the inside, you'll see with this, you don't want that to be whipping around and hitting these, hitting your suspension. You'll just bungee it down, make sure it clears everything, and that it's not going to be an issue. And that is how you chain a tire. Tire chains, you want to carry them September 1st to May 31st. Now we recommend that you carry at least four chains, two three railers and then two singles. Generally, that's enough chains to get you out of any situation. All of our drive tires, they're low pro 22.5s, except for our hopper fleet. They have wide base tires, and we do have special chains for wide base tires. So if you are a hard side hopper driver, make sure you ask for those wide based chains. And then for everybody else, regular chains will work. And one final note, so I get a lot of guys that get stuck and then call us and say, hey, I'm stuck. I need a tow. You can't actually throw chains in that situation. Again, you just do like we showed you where you drape your chains, hook them, and then if you just slowly roll forward, nine times out of ten, the chain will roll underneath the tire and then you'll be able to get out of that spot that you're in. So it is possible to throw chains that way. There are occasions where it just, even after throwing chains, it's just not going to work and uh, then of course we'll call you a tow truck. But Anyway, so this has been Chaining. I hope this is helpful, and uh, thanks.